I know what you're thinking. These herbs go in the garden. Mm -mm, I'm taking them in the house. I received a comment from one of my He How Home subscribers. It's all about herbs. This guy is interested in continuing gardening, but he's moving into an apartment. His name is Justin G. Bono, and um, he's really interested in taking some herbs along with him. I think it's a great idea. You know, they can look wonderful in a kitchen, but you know, the key is light. The varieties that I find that work well for me include parsley, various kinds of mint, rosemary, um, as well as chives and thyme. Those that really love a lot of sun, like basil, not so good. So keeping with this idea of light, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the herbs get at least six hours of sunlight, and the closer to a window, the better. This window faces east, so they get plenty of morning light, and this window has proven to be a good place for me to move some of my herbs. And even though I might have them here more in the center of the room, I can rotate them and get them in more light about every three or four days. Also, if you have a balcony or a fire escape associated with your apartment, you can move them into more light and then bring them back into the kitchen. Okay, now let's talk about feeding. I like to use an all-purpose liquid fertilizer, and since I'm eating these herbs or using these herbs to flavor my food, I wanna use an organic. I fertilize them about every two weeks with a dilute solution. You don't wanna over-fertilize herbs because you want them to really create a lot of those essential oils. That's what gives them their flavor. Okay, so Justin, if you're starting with small plants, let's step out of the potting shed and I'll show you how to pot one up. So what you wanna start with is a soil that is blended for container gardening. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up in a container, just a terracotta container. You can use anything you want. Um, I like the terracotta, it's simple and classic. But if you're gonna set this in a windowsill, just remember that clay saucer is going to absorb a lot of moisture and it will actually make the paint peel. So you might wanna use a clear saucer so you don't get that transference of moisture through there. Then the herb of your choice. And then what I do is just take that lip of peat moss, the peat cup or the peat pot, take that off like this, and I break up the peat moss cup just a little bit like this. And then I find a home for it and just snuggle it in. You wanna make sure that none of that peat pot edge sticks up like this because through a wicking effect, air blowing over this, it'll cause the herb to dry. That's all planted, it's as easy as that. Justin Givano, good luck with your new apartment, and I hope you grow lots of herbs in it. So if you have a comment like Justin had, let me know. I'll do my best to answer it and help you out. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. Okay, you ready to go in the kitchen?